What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we have a blaster box for 2020-21 Upper Deck Series 1. This is a little bit different. They changed it up from the last time that I purchased my first two blaster boxes for this year's products. Because the first time I purchased them, there is 8 cards per pack and 7 packs per blaster box. This here is 6 packs per blaster box. And the reason for that is because now they include one exclusive oversized young gun rookie per box which is really cool and i know what some of the rookies the young guns are worth so let's just open up this box and take a closer look here are all of our packs and our jumbo young guns we're going to start off strong is josh norris for the Ottawa Senators, you guys know I PC Ottawa Senators anything, so this card is staying in my collection. If it was one of the more valuable rookies or young guns, I would have sold it. I know Alexis is, I think, $50 for his jumbo young guns, but you know this one's staying in my collection, so I'll definitely have to sleeve this in one of the jumbo sleeves and top loaders and put this just on my shelf. I think that's really cool. First... Young Guns, first Jumbo Young Guns that I've pulled. So that is that. So now let's get into the six packs. Pack number one. Again, we're going for valuable Young Guns. That's my goal. But I'll be happy with anything that we receive. So up first, Peter Masaryk. I'm going to try to go through the base as quickly as we can. Callagher, Lindholm, Eckel. And we have an Upper Deck Portraits. Let it focus here for a second. Upper Deck Portraits for Patrick Kane, who I do PC. So that one's staying in my collection. Brandon Sad, Tatar, and Sanev. Next pack here. Alex. Nicoletti. Merzinklins. A Young Guns for Philip Broberg, which you guys already seen. If you guys seen my last blaster boxes. I've already received this Young Guns, so this is a double for me. Oh, we also got a Dazzlers in here, so two inserts in this pack. We have a green Dazzlers for Ryan O'Reilly. And if you didn't know how the Dazzlers work this year, each pack or each product for this year is a different Dazzler insert. So fat packs are exclusive to the orange one. Blaster boxes are exclusive to this green one. The pink ones are exclusive to retail, and Hobby is exclusive for the Blue Dazzlers. So, very unique this year. But I do PC him, so that one's staying with me. Rune Jenner, Sutter, and McAvoy. Third pack in. We're going to be halfway done shortly here. We do have a checklist one to 101 to 200, which I did receive this one out of my fat pack. Braden Points, Gunsel, Alex Ovechkin Base, uh, Gusev, Borgstrand, Bennington, which I think I already have, and Brandon Carlo. So I am getting a lot of doubles, but that's because uh, this is my third blast box. And I've already done one uh, retail box. I still want to do a retail box just because I want to get some of the more valuable young guns and try to sell them or at least flip them for profit. That is at least my goal. Timo Meyer, um, Mark Stahl, Pasternak, a Young Guns for Michael DiPietro. Um, I already have this Young Guns, so this is the second double Young Guns that I have. Blake Wheeler, Ellers, Amstav, Blake Coleman. Sucks that I got both Young Guns is, uh, you know, doubles. Hopefully we receive one that's not a double. Uh, Marcus Johnson, Jar Johansson, sorry, Dylan Stromey, Adam Fox, Tyler Sagan, Bo Horvat, John Carlson, Killorn, and Mike Riley for Ottawa Senators. And of course, they all just toppled over for me. Last pack here. The last one was just base. This one here, I'm guessing it's going to be base because you expect one to two packs per blast box to be all base cards. Um, so I'm assuming this one's going to be, unfortunately. Quinn Hughes, Jacob Troba, Joel Pavelski, 
uh, Tanner Pearson. Oh, no, we did get an insert. We got an upper deck canvas for Andre Barakovsky. Um, playing football there. This one might go up on eBay. I have to look up what the value is. I normally love canvas cards, but I don't really know nor care for this player. So not really for me, but it's still a cool insert. Uh, Jack Prezi, Malkin, and Dougie Hamilton. Ooh, that's really nice. And the Hartford Whalers jersey, of course, because of Carolina Hurricanes. That is really cool. Little throwback there. I do collect them, so that's awesome. I like Dougie Hamilton, so why not? So that is still really cool, even though we got some double young guns, which does, in my opinion, suck. So I'm going to have to see what the value of these are, possibly put them on eBay or use them as giveaways on the channel, or maybe just include them in my eBay mystery packs. But we did get a Jumbo Young Guns, which was really cool. Ottawa Senators, not a player I know yet, but hopefully a player that Ottawa keeps. Because normally, if a player does well, a rookie, eventually they end up getting rid of said rookie. Which is terrible in my opinion. But we at least got a couple inserts. We got the Jumbo Young Guns, two other Young Guns, which unfortunately were doubles. We got a checklist, which they do count as inserts now, even though it's part of the base set. Patrick Kane, Upper Deck Portraits a green dazzlers for ryan o'reilly and we did get an upper deck canvas which i might end up putting in a mystery pack or selling on ebay so comment down below what you guys think of the blaster box i think for the price i might purchase one more to just try to get something great i know alex lafrain i always butcher names so i don't really know how to pronounce his name yet i know his young gun he was the first overall draft pick at the time i'm recording this the season has yet to start, so the card is worth around $350, and my collecting buddy um, ended up pulling out of a blaster box that Young Guns, but he's going to keep it. If it was me, I would sell it because I don't know how it's going to be. I'd hope to pull two, sell one, keep one, but I would sell it right now. No, you're going to get 350 just in case the player flops like Nail Yakupov and others have that were first-run draft picks. Since it's so high, if it was me, I'd sell. But I think the player is going to do well, so who knows? Maybe it's going to be the next Connor McDavid, and maybe that card will skyrocket. But definitely, I'm going to look for that card. I'm still on the hunt, so maybe I will buy one more of these. But I might save up and get either a retail pack or a uh, hobby pack, but who knows? I might do that but that is still pricey. I might use my YouTube money, but still unknown as of right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more products for 2020, 2021 from me. And again, a new hockey card video every week for various products, eBay mystery packs, and different things like that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.